Hello! Today I'm going to be making a tutorial on making MAC lipstick with crowns and coconut oil. Because I was just randomly scrolling through Pinterest and saw this and I was like, hey, that sounds like fun to try. I wonder if it would really work. You could get whatever lipstick color you wanted, I guess. Hopefully it works in the end. I've never tried this before. So the things that you'll need to be able to make this crayon lipstick is a frying pan, a little cup to melt everything in, a teaspoon, some crayons, and I'm going to be using this indigo blue purple color, and some coconut oil, which is apparently vegan, and people need to know that. <laughs> I don't get it, but oh well. So. Hopefully I can get some uh, blue lipstick by the end of this. All right, let's get this started. Since I already picked out my crayon color, and I'm only gonna do one end, because, you know, I don't know if it's gonna work. If it works, I might make more colors, you never know. So, what we need to begin is some water in a pan and start boiling it. Let's get to that. So, the bottom. Now that it's boiling, we need to turn it down slightly. And then what we need to do is get our coconut oil. Actually, first what we need to do is get our little bowl and stick it right there. Add about a teaspoon of coconut oil. Oh, shoot. Oh! A little bit more since I could have messed that up a little bit. Oh well. Put a little bit of that in there. We take the crown. Of course, we got to take a little bit of the paper off. While that melts a little bit. Wow. Wow, taking pa paper off crowns is a lot harder than I thought it was going to be. Oh shoot, I should have done this before. Okay. Oh, almost there. Coconut oil is almost melted. And then we're going to just put some crown in there and hopefully it melts. It probably won't take too long to melt. Now, we just have to wait for the crown to melt. See? Blue is in there. It's starting to slightly melt a little bit. Probably. Now what we need to do is, um, Get a little something stirred up a little bit. Ah. Almost all the way melted. See? Then I let finish that melting. Stir it up a little bit more. Looks like it's all about melted. And turn this off. Alright, so this is probably really hot, so I can't pick it up with my fingers. So, what I'm going to do is get some tongs. Pick it up. And 
then this is what you get after it's all melted. Super, super liquidy. Probably need to let this cool for just a little bit. All right, so now all we have to do is let it cool. Um, it's actually not that hot, but it doesn't seem to be cooling that quick. You know, to be like that kind of melted taste. Kind of, it's it's not very thick right now, and it's kind of got these weird bubbles at the bottom. So uh, I guess we're just gonna stick it in the refrigerator for a little bit to see if um, it can cool off faster. All right, let's stick it in the refrigerator. A little bit so that way we don't have to wait as long or maybe it's supposed to cool off normally but that's all right we'll just stick it in the refrigerator see how that works usually you can buy little plastic containers to put the finished product in but I have so many mason jars and so little many little glass jars I'm just gonna leave it in that because why not I'm not so hopeful on if this is really going to work or not, because right now, it is still so liquidy. And I just... I don't know. Well, I just have to see until it cools down what it looks like. I don't know. As you can see a little bit, it's starting to settle. Um, it still looks really gross like Melted Crown. I'm not so sure about putting this on my lips, but since I've already made it, I gotta try it. <coughs> So I'm actually going to try it a little bit like how it is now, just to see what it looks like. Hmm. See, it's super thick on there, like, uh, okay. Okay, so it feels just like you think it would, like putting crayons in extra moisturizing lip gloss or, you know, Blistex or, you know, it feels like you're putting chapstick on really. But as you can see right now, the color's really not that dark. It really just looks like I smothered blue or smeared blue all over my face, on my lips at least. All right, let's just put another layer on maybe. All right, and this is the finished product. Um, if it's not all the way dry, it's currently still very mushy. Um, I'm actually gonna let this cool down a little bit to see what the effect will be after it's completely hardened, kind of, because it's so really soft right now. But that is the outcome for that. All right, I'm gonna put this back in the refrigerator and see what happens. So I've had this on for about 10 minutes and the color seems to be, um, Staying on pretty well, it's just not as dark as I hoped it would be. I'm still waiting for this to completely dry all the way. It's getting a, getting there, but as you can see, it's um, not as dry as I'd hoped it would be. It still has a too thick of a consistency, so I'm just going to wait a little bit longer. Alright, so this is a little bit harder than it was. Um, it's kind of really still squishy. You can get in there and get like a whole clump in there. I don't know if it's quite dry like it's supposed to, but I'm not sure if it's going to be. So let's wipe this off and try it again. Take a little bit of the brush. Still kind of gets all over the place, not as dark as I'd like it to be. Put a little bit more on a. And 
And this is how dark it gets. I don't know if this would be MAC lipstick color, you know. You can still kind of see the pink in my lips, but I guess it works. I'm not sure how long it would stay on there, like if you were to eat or, I don't know, kiss something. Who knows? We can try that out. Let's do the test of if it's going to stay, if I eat something. One, see if it stays on with hamburger. Turn my hamburger blue a little bit. As you can see, it faded just a little bit and not as blue as anymore. Kind of like a thin layer of gloss. Totally doesn't work like I thought it was going to. But it does keep your lips all nice and kind of like waxy, I guess, if they were chapped or something. I don't know. Just have coconut oil and crayons on your lips. I'm probably going to say this is a failed Pinterest attempt. Maybe I did it wrong. Who knows? But probably not going to do this again. Now we're going to see if it will paint so we can use it for something other than our mouth. You make a cloud. I know this is a makeup brush, but it works just as well since it was already on there. like it does paint. If there was another colors in this brush it'd probably all be blue. This makes it kind of look thick. I don't like oil painting in a way. I wonder if it will dry. I don't know but if you ever decide to try to make some MAC lipstick and it doesn't work out you can make an awesome painting like this. Just another way to not waste stuff I guess. Who knows. I'm just going to keep making this cloud. And there's my cloud. Mm. And it actually dries pretty quickly. You can touch it and it doesn't get on your fingers too bad. So, again, if you don't want to use it as lipstick, lip gloss, whatever, make a pretty painting. Thanks for watching. If you liked my videos, please comment, please subscribe, and like them. Thanks. See you next time. Bye.